You guys have been asking for this video, so here it is. For the next seven days, I'll be attempting to buy and resell phones on sites such as OfferUp and Facebook Marketplace by pretty much lowballing people for the phones that they have. I'm gonna be attempting to make as much profit as possible in my first week. So first things first, we need to go ahead and message a few people on OfferUp and Facebook Marketplace and pretty much find the average cost that each phone sells for. Now, the way I'm gonna be doing this is by going on eBay and looking at sold listings for the type of device and the amount of gigabytes that each device has. And I'm pretty much going to see the average cost for each device that's been sold. And at the same time, I'm going to try to make at least $50 to $100 profit off of each device that I do purchase. And I'm going to attempt to either resell it on eBay or back on OfferUp and Facebook Marketplace for profit. All right, so it's been about two hours since I recorded that last clip and we already got an offer for an iPhone 11 Pro Max, which I'm about to go head over to get. The person was asking about 524. But she didn't get it. And I was able to negotiate down to 420. So I'm gonna go pick up that phone right now and I'll meet you guys over there. So at this point, I started heading over to the phone meet, which was going to be at Target. And the phone that I will be acquiring is an iPhone 11 Pro Max, which I negotiated down from $520 to $420 and mind you this phone could easily sell for $500 so let's go check it out okay so right now we just pulled into the Target parking lot and we're about to meet with the first buyer so when I purchase the phone I'll pretty much just show you guys all right the first phone is secured it is an iPhone 11 Pro Max I paid about $420 for this phone and I put it up for sale for $520 So while at Target, I just figured I'd go ahead and grab the packaging just in case the phones end up selling and in the case that we do have to ship them off. Okay, so funny thing, I just purchased the phone literally like an hour ago and we already have somebody who wants to buy the phone for $490, so I'm about to go meet up with them right now and I'll catch up with you guys in a few. Just secured the bag. I sold the phone for $490 and I just bought it for $420 literally like an hour and a half ago. So gotta say this is going good so far and if anything, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I could buy another phone with this money. Currently it is the next day after I sold the iPhone 11 Pro Max for $70 profit and pretty much last night I just spent a few hours messaging a few more people to purchase more phones since I now had $490 in cash and pretty much in the process I also tried to create an ad which didn't do so well because I kept getting this message popping up on OfferUp because it went against their community guidelines or whatever it was. So pretty much I just went on to contact a few more people and today I have an iPhone 8 Plus that I'm supposed to go pick up. The person was asking 150 originally, but I managed to get them down to 110. So that's 110 off the list right now. And then I also have an iPhone 11 to go pick up. That person was asking 250 for it, which was already a great deal. And I managed to get them down to 230, which is even better. And lastly, I have an iPhone 10R to go pick up. This person was asking 250 and I hit him with the extreme low ball offer of 150 and surprisingly they took it. Nice. But this place is literally like 40 miles away, so it's definitely going to be a drive. But for $100 profit, I don't think I can go wrong with that. So pretty much I'm going to go pick up the iPhone 8 Plus at my local convenience store, which is where I told the person to meet me up. And the other two I have yet to receive an address from. But once they do send the address, I'm going to go over and pick those phones up as well. So pretty much the iPhone 8 Plus is going to cost me $110. The iPhone 10R is going to cost me $150, while the iPhone 11, which is actually in great condition, is going to cost me $230. So I'm going to head over there right now to get the first one. And also, if you guys are new to the channel and you have not already, make sure you smash that like button because it truly helps out and also subscribe to the channel to show some support. Now I'm pretty much on route to Dollar General to meet up with the guy for the iPhone 8 Plus and pretty much on the way over there, the other two sellers that were talking about the iPhone 11 and 10 are also messaged me. So I will be linking up with them after this meetup. All right, long story short, we have the iPhone 8 Plus acquired. I paid 110 for it, like I said, and the dude was asking 150 at first. And the phone's in pretty much like mint condition, to be honest, with you no cracks, no iCloud lock. It's actually an unlocked carrier too, so the phone's in great condition, and I'm pretty sure we could sell it for at least 50 to 100 profit, like I was saying at the start of this video. All right, so for the rest of the day, I went ahead and picked up the rest of the phones so that we could have all the phones acquired. And pretty much after picking up the iPhone 11 and iPhone 10R, I didn't receive any more offers. So I guess we're going to stop here for the day. All right, so as you guys can see, I acquired all three of the iPhones that we were supposed to purchase for today. So really all that's left to do is list them online and take a few good pictures. But I'm going to show you guys right now. We have the iPhone 8, which is space gray, um, 64 gigabytes, and it's an unlocked carrier. Next up, we have the iPhone 11, which is pretty much good condition as well. No issues at all. 
and this one has a lock carry it's locked to t-mobile but it has no issues whatsoever zero cracks and i think just a few slight scratches that aren't really noticeable and lastly we have the iphone 10r which is also space gray so fun fact all the phones are space gray and this was completely unintentional but it kind of worked out because it looks pretty good when you have like all space gray listed on one profile it just looks cleaner but pretty much since i didn't get to show you guys at first like when i saw the first phone since the process happened so fast i'm going to show you guys exactly what i do in order to take pictures before i list them online for other potential buyers to hit me up for them as you guys can see right here i have all three phones on this little table mat which i will be taking all the pictures on just like i did for the first phone that i purchased and pretty much what i do is i just go ahead and get nice angles that kind of just cover the phone completely move on to the next one and then of course the next one and then by doing this i'm pretty much just being able to get a proper picture of the phone with like a decent background so that it looks a bit more aesthetically pleasing to whoever wants to buy it so all we got to do is take a few pictures and then we're going to list them up on offer up to potentially sell them through there and in the case that they don't sell an offer up we always have ebay has a backup plan and facebook marketplace all right so it's been about 20 minutes or so since i last recorded that clip and pretty much i've taken all the pictures necessary for each one of these phones and i've listed them online through offer up and i might also list them on facebook marketplace just to attract more people but pretty much we're just going to sit back and wait and in the case that the phones don't end up selling within this week i'm going to go ahead and put them on ebay since i did in fact buy some packaging just in case this does happen but for now we just wait like i said before and of course we're going to try to get the people to meet us locally in the case that they do want to purchase the phone now one thing that i also did in the meantime while purchasing these phones was create an instagram page where i could also list them up for sale so that people that i know personally could also offer to either buy a phone from me or even sell their own phone if they don't need it no more because you got to keep in mind when it comes to buying and reselling phones you always want to make sure you're attracting as many people as possible and one thing that i haven't done that a lot of people normally do is post ads on craigslist and on facebook but in the case that you know you don't post ads you definitely have to message a lot more people and stay consistent with all the deals to make sure that you're not missing out on any good offers that might be potentially standing at the moment so what i did was create a page where i just upload the exact same photos that i took to list on offer up and i just put them with the exact same description as well detailing the space the clean imei that it has the amount of storage whether it's you know locked to a carrier or not and any type of damage that each phone might have and with this Instagram page, I'm hoping to attract more people locally who might not use OfferUp. And I'm also going to share it to people that I know personally. So like I said before, now all we have to do right now is just wait, sit back, and hopefully some people start to message us about the phones that we have up for sale. Yeah, baby! Several days later. Okay, so it's been about a day since I made a few listings on Facebook Marketplace and OfferUp for the other three iPhones that I purchased. And so far, I have an offer of $200 for the $150 iPhone XR that I purchased. So pretty much I'm gonna go over there right now to meet up with this person just cause it's a quick $50 profit that I don't think anybody could go wrong with. And then afterwards, I'm gonna see if I can sell the other two phones. So I'll meet you guys over there. All right guys, I'm back home and I have the money right here. Just made another $50 profit after making $70 profit with the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So, so far for this week, we are up $130. And now it's just time to wait to see if the other two iPhones will sell sometime soon. So I'll get back to you guys if we get an offer. All right, so right now I'm on track to go pick up an iPhone 12 from a seller. He was asking $400 for the phone and I pretty much brought him down to $350 and he agreed to it. So I'm about to go pick it up right now and I'll let you guys know when I get over there. So far, I have yet to receive any other offers for the two phones, the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 8 Plus, but we're just going to leave them up for a while and we're going to see if we get any offers before this week is over. All right, guys, I officially got the iPhone 12 for $350, like I said, so we should not have an issue selling this phone because I've seen it on eBay selling for like $550, so if anything, I might even undercut the market just to make sure we sell it right away, and that should be like the easiest and biggest profit we've had so far this week. All right, so it's officially been about two days since I had all the phones and now they're all gone. After about a week of phone flipping, I managed to make $270 in total worth of profits after buying five different iPhones and reselling them for a profit of at least $50. With the first iPhone, which was an iPhone 11 Pro Max, that was our largest profit of $50. And with all the other devices that I purchased, I was able to make $50 profit. Now, one thing I will say is that for the iPhone 12, I thought I was gonna make a lot more profit 
but it turns out a lot of people were selling that phone for cheaper than I expected. Either way, we were able to secure a $50 profit pretty fast. The way I started was with $600, and by buying the iPhone 11 Pro Max and making $70 profit, I was able to buy more phones, which in fact led to more profit. So starting off with $600 in my first week ever phone flipping, I secured $270 after flipping five devices. Now one thing I will say for those of you who do want to start phone flipping is that you want to make sure that you diversify your leads. With me, I mainly focused on offer up for my first time phone flipping, but in the process I also extended over to Facebook Marketplace and eBay which allowed me to make a lot more sales. So if you guys are looking to get started with phone flipping, I definitely suggest doing it if you have access to a vehicle and you also don't have an issue driving to different locations to pick phones up. I definitely do plan on leveraging this business. So if you guys would love to see videos like this in the near future, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and also smash that like button because it truly helps the channel out. Besides that, I'll see you guys in the next video. See you chump.